Starting off our show today with all the rare camp plans that you can obtain from Minerva's big cell this time around, we have the Super Reactor for 1500 Gold Bully. Next up, for just a little bit less power but just as much gold bullion, we have the Scavenge Solar Panel for 1500 gold bullion. The next plan on our list is the Synthomatic Machine for 1500 gold bullion. The next plan on our list is the one, the only, the Myler King 2 for 1500 gold bully. Next up is the perfect plan for all my farmers out there. We have the farmable dirt tile for 375 gold bully. Over in all the rare armor planes that you can obtain from Minerva this time around, we have the full set of Chinese Stealth Suit Armor. We can get the Chinese Stealth Helmet for 1,238 gold bullion, and we can pick up the Chinese Stealth Suit itself for 3,000 gold bullion. Next up, we have the full set of Secret Service Armor. We can get ourselves the limbs for 563 gold bullion each, the torso for 938 gold bullion, and we can get ourselves the helmet for 1,238 gold bullion. Next up, for my Power Armor users, we have the full set of Strangler Heart Power Armor. We can get the limbs for 750 gold bullion each, the torso for 938 gold bullion, and like with every armor, we have the most expensive piece. We have the Strangler Heart Helmet for 1238 gold bullion, and we can even get ourselves the Hellfire Prototype Power Armor Paint for 1500 gold bullion. Over in all the rare armor mods that you can obtain from Minerva this time around, we have the jetpack for the Secret Service armor for 1500 gold bullion. Next up, you can get yourself the Secret Service pocketed mod for the torso and the limbs for 188 gold bullion. We can get ourselves the resistant lining for the Secret Service under armor for 75 gold bullion, and we can also get ourselves the treated lining for 38 gold bullion. Over in the mods for the power armor, we have the mods for the T65 medic pump for 188 gold bullion. Next up, we have the plan for the T65 stealth boy for 5 563 gold bullion. For your T65 legs, we have the overdrive servos for 563 gold bullion. Next up, over in all the rare backpack mods that you can obtain from Minerva this time around, we have the chemist backpack mod for 263 gold bullion. Next up, we have the grocer's backpack mod for 263 gold bullion. Over in all the rare weapon planes that you can obtain from Minerva this time around, we have the warglaive for 2000 gold bullion. Next up, we have the plan for the unique lever action rifle soul survivor for 1000 gold bullion. We have the goss pistol plan for 188 gold Gold bullion, the gauntlet plan for 188 gold bullion, and the plan for the cattle prod for 188 gold bullion. Over in all the rare weapon mods that you can obtain from Minerva this time around, we have the plan for the cryoblade mod for the warglaive for 150 gold bullion. Next up, we have the plasma blade for 150 gold bullion. Over on the Goss minigun, we can get the gunner sights for 38 gold bullion. We have the Tesla coil dynamo for 75 gold bullion, and we can get ourselves the Tesla coil capacitor for 75 gold bullion. Over in the planes that might blow our hands off, we have the plan for the Dynamite for 75 gold bullion. Next up, we have the Floater Nasher Grenade for 113 gold bullion. For Minerva's Big Cell, her and Tommy Tentos will be located at Creator from July 21st through the 25th, so if you want any of these goodies, do not be afraid to hit them up. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over some of the best camp locations in all of Fallout 76, so if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is some of the best camp locations in all of Fallout 76.